For practice it, exercise 3.3 .3, print powers of n. We are asked to write a method called print powers of n that accepts a base and an exponent as arguments and prints each power of the base from base raised to the zeroth power up to the maximum power. So first we need to write our method. It's going to be public static. Since it's only printing something, it's going to be void. It's only printing, not returning. It's going to be called print powers of n. We have our parentheses for our parameters. And inside of here, we need to take an int base and an int exponent, like that. So we can see in the given example, if we pass in a 4, this is going to start out at, at 4. And then it's going to go to the zeroth, which is one, the second, which is two, the third, which is, or I'm sorry, the first, which is um, four, the second, which is 16, and the third, which is 64. So in here, we're going to need a for loop since we are doing things multiple time. We'll say int a is equal to zero, and we're going to run this as long as a is less than or equal to our exponent and this runs um, as long as it's less than or equal to our exponent because if we see here it's this is going to run four times this is going to run seven times and this is going to run nine times so it correlates with our exponent next we'll just do a plus plus and in here we are going to have a system dot out dot print just print because they're all going to be on the same line and then we will have math dot pow and this is going to be raising the power. So first what we'll have is our base. And then we will have a comma and then a. So this way we have our base initially. Let's say we have four right here. And so our base is four. A is equal to zero. And once this runs once, it's just going to be four to the zeroth, which is one. Next is going to be four to the first, which is four. 4 to the second, which is 16, and 4 cubed, which is 64. And if we submit this, we have not passed the test. And this is because of two things. First, math.pow returns a double. And we need integers here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast this to be an integer. So in front of math.pow, we'll have parentheses and int in front of it. That forces it to be an integer. And after this, we need to have a space right here so that it separates them. Now, if we submit it, we have passed all nine tests. And this is the code that will give us this output.